Hello and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. My name is Sean and tonight we'll be reviewing our final of the budget rise and that is Knob Creek Rye. Let's get into it. Okay, so here is our bottle for this evening. Knob Creek Straight Rye Whiskey. And uh, yeah, as all Knob Creek bottles go, this has all of the buzzwords you would expect. So small batch, uh, let's see, the original, um, crafted for superior taste and smoothness, and, uh, and then small batch again right here. But this one, uh, you have to appreciate the awards that are given to whiskeys because they're just sometimes ridiculous. So this is the, uh, let's see here, an International Wine and Spirit Competition Quality Award, Gold 2016, Outstanding World's Best Rye. Yeah, a $30 rye is the world's best rye. So the expectations are very high for this bottle. Now, if you watched my recent lives and you would know that I do like this, but is it the world's best rye? Well, let's get some poured and see how good or bad it is. Uh, but, you know, of course, this is coming from the Knob Creek Distillery, and that is, of course, a Jim Beam product, is what that means for us in layman terms. So, potentially, same rye mash bill, probably, as the Old Overholt, and then, of course, the Jim Beam rye, and anything else coming out of the Jim Beam Distillery that is rye. All the same stuff, same distillate. We'll see how they differ. So I was not a fan of the Jim Beam Rye at all. It was very light on the palate and nose. The old overhaul I thought was decent. But now let's get to this one. So first on the nose, uh, you're definitely getting that rye, spearmint, green tea, uh, maybe slight uh, peppermint note in there. That's what, what's probably the most prominent. Then also a really nice barrel presence. There's a nice kind of toasted oak note in there. Also a very nice uh, brown sugar. So that's more of a, a bourbon note, but still that's coming through. A uh, nice caramel as well. Getting a, a very slight cherry note. And then some darker fruits. Uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of bourbon notes showing through, so almost like a, uh, a roasted date, something like that. So this is kind of between, and of course the Jim Beam rye mash bill is a low rye mash bill. So it's a 51% rye. So that's why we're getting some of the kind of more bourbon presence in the, the nose. There is a slight sour oak note and then quite a bit of char there as well. But all in all, uh, a very nice nose. Uh, so kind of a combination of your typical rye nose and then your typical bourbon nose, but which is good for me because I'm a bourbon lover. So let's get to our first sip. All right, so as it hits your tongue, front of the palate, you're getting just lots of sweetness. You get a nice caramel, you get that really sweet kind of spearmint, uh, kind of spearmint gum note that I really like in a rye. Uh, you're also getting just hints of, of pepper, but it's very light, like a white pepper, not real spicy up front. And then there's also just kind of like this, maybe like a cherry note there as well that's mixing in there. And, and just a kind of a general sweetness up front. And then as it goes into the mid palate, then you get that rye spice. And that's what I really look for, uh, to, what, to me, what makes a good rye. I like a really spicy rye. And this definitely has it. You're getting all that burst of baking spices of the mid palate. So lots of cinnamon, lots of uh, kind of like maybe clove and maybe a, just hints of anise, but it's very light. And then the brown sugar notes there as well. Lots of, this is where it becomes more of like a black pepper. It's much spicier on the mid palate. Uh, and also the, the char notes are coming through and that kind of toasted oak note as well. Uh, so really a, a very full palate. And uh, now let, let's, uh, let's go in for one more sip here and focus on that finish. All right, so on that second sip, really focusing on the finish there. And the finish to me is just great. I mean, exactly what you want, especially in a budget rye. So you're getting lots of cinnamon, uh, a nice like kind of spearmint and a peppermint note. Lots of lots of peppery notes there. You're getting a nice uh, barrel presence, so a little bit of that, that kind of charred oak. But then also 
there's just a really nice sweetness in there as well. It's kind of like a, like a cherry Twizzler, which is really nice to go with all those other flavors. And it's it's honestly still going. It's, it's a quite a long finish for a budget rye. When you're still feeling the heat in your chest, you still got all the cinnamon and, and all the, I can still taste all that in the back of my throat. So quite a long finish for a budget rye. Uh, it just, it does everything that I expect from a budget rye. You know, it's not the most complex because of the price point, but just excellent for the price that it's at. Uh, I, I love the, the strong rye spice that Knob Creek has pulled out of their distillate. So all in all, if, if you like a bold rye, I think this is a great go-to. And of course, uh, we've covered some of that are a little bit lighter on the palate if you prefer something like that. But, you know, comparing this to the Jim Beam and the old Overholt, I think this is uh, a couple tiers above those for sure. Uh, with that said, for rating, I'm going to go ahead and say a solid 7.8. I think it's just an excellent budget rye. Uh, granted, this is at kind of the top of the price point that we're looking at. We're, these are all $30 and under rye, and this is right there. This, is, this was $29.99. So if you folks have enjoyed this review, this has been helpful to you, especially when you're out doing your own shopping, then please hit that like button. And if you have tried it yourself, then please let us know down in the comments how your experience went. And also, folks, if you want to see more reviews from me, then you can click right here for more reviews. And if you're really enjoying the channel, then please subscribe right here. Until next time, folks, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey.